There are many different components in lasagna, but you don't have to be afraid of it. They're quick and they're easy. You just have to prepare ahead of time and make all your separate ingredients before you start to layer the lasagna. So that's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna take a pound of ground beef. I'm gonna heat up my saute pan. There we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna break up the meat with my spatula. It's easier to break up meat when it's raw like this than it is when it's half cooked. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. Just to wake up the flavors in the beef. This is gonna take about four to five minutes to cook. And in the meantime, I'm gonna prepare my ricotta. Before I empty it out, I'm gonna beat three eggs. about a pound and a half of ricotta. And I've got two pounds here. I love it for breakfast or for afternoon snack, even for dessert with sugar, honey, and berries. Mm. Can't tell you how delicious it is. Perfect. I'll save the rest for later. And that's all incorporated. Let me check on my meat. That looks ready. I'm gonna set it in my bowl and let it cool off. And then I'll use this later while I'm layering my lasagna. I'm gonna lower the heat to make my bechamel sauce, which is a sauce made out of butter, flour, and milk. We need five tablespoons of butter, so about there. Now I'm gonna melt my butter before I add my flour. Make sure that it's nice and melted. I'll break it down a little bit. Ready to add our flour. We're gonna add half a cup. And I quickly wanna start stirring. I wanna get a nice creamy sauce and I don't want any lumps. I'm melting the flour, basically cooking it, cooking all that gritty raw flour taste out of it. Okay, it's yellow, it's creamy. I'm ready for my milk. Now, I'm using whole milk. I like whole milk for this dish. You're looking for a, a very creamy, thick sauce. Now, I've put in all of my milk. I'm gonna stir it, and then I'm gonna let it thicken. A lot of recipes will ask you to heat the milk. I just like to take it out about an hour or so before I'm gonna knead it. And it comes down to room temperature and it works perfectly. A Little bit of salt and some ground white pepper. Now I like to use white pepper in this dish. It has a milder flavor than black pepper. So just a couple pinches of that. And some wonderful nutmeg. It's unbelievable how it complements a cream sauce. I'm gonna use a grater. I'm just gonna grate a little bit. A little goes a long way with nutmeg. This is gonna take some time to cook. So I'm gonna stir it every once in a while and keep a close eye on it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get my bowl ready and add my tomato sauce to it. Now my tomato sauce, I put whole tomatoes, basil and garlic and extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna need about one and a half cups. So I'm gonna measure it out. Now it's one and a half. Okay. I'm gonna save this for later. And let's check on our bechamel. You know it's ready when it coats the back of the spoon. I'm gonna show you what that means. You just wanna stick your finger, ooh, that's hot, in the back and see how it stays separated. It doesn't come back together, so you know it's thick enough. 
Wow, look how thick. That looks fantastic. Let me whisk it together. Oh, look at how it's turning pink. It's so beautiful. Now, I need one more component. I'm using some frozen chopped spinach. And, you know, you can find regular spinach and you can cook them, but it's gonna take a lot more spinach for this dish if you use fresh spinach. I don't want a lot of extra water because it's gonna make my lasagna soggy and drown out all those flavors. It's kind of fun. It's like being a kid. We're ready to start layering our lasagna. These are the lasagna sheets I'm gonna use today. You don't need to boil them or cook them. You're just gonna put them in raw and they're gonna cook in the oven. We're gonna add about a third of a cup of this creamy pink bechamel. And we wanna do that to add a layer for the pasta to start soaking up some liquid. That's how it's gonna cook. Okay. And then we'll start adding our layers of pasta. Our next layer is our ricotta cheese mixed with egg. Delicious. Another special cheesy topping, grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Okay, now a little bit of butter. The butter will melt and help get that nice golden brown color. So you just want a little bit dolloped on top. Even need the knife really, it's so soft. Mm, just use my fingers. All right. Now it's ready to go in the oven. So I've preheated my oven 375 degrees and it's gonna bake for 45 minutes. Wait till you see the final product. <laughs> 